I know it's my destiny. What up? JMO here. I built this PC before the pandemic and before the whole GPU price thing, so I did check to make sure that you can still build this. It is possible. You just gotta put in a little effort. Let's make. The basis for this build is an HP Compaq 6200 Pro Mini Tower that I picked up for 80 bucks once you factor in shipping. The 6200 Pro is a basic business PC that comes with an i5-2500, a 320 watt power supply, 4 gigs of DDR3, 10 USB 2.0 ports, and a single PCIe X16 slot. How do we make use of all this goodness? By adding a GTX 1050 Ti that I picked up for 70 bucks from Facebook Marketplace. Cards like this are powered by the PCIe itself, so extra modifications aren't required to run one. Just slide the card in until it clicks. Uh, didn't make weird focus shots to fill the time before powering the PC on and testing it. Speaking of testing and benchmarks, for almost no build effort and a budget of 150 bucks, an OpenGL score of 72.34 FPS is not bad, and the CPU scoring of 457 is nothing to sneeze at. User benchmark shows a desktop score of Speedboat, and I'm guessing doubling the RAM would make a huge difference here. I ran Heaven on its basic preset, and although OBS is running, it still pulled out a 2690 with a max FPS of 202.9, which I find impressive. So I ran the Extreme preset, and I can't be mad at the 978. Even though the FPS maxed at 89.9, it's a bit inconsistent with no tweaking, and the average FPS comes in at 38.8. I know these are synthetics, but I use them as a baseline just to see if everything is functioning properly and to make sure we're headed in the right direction. Cheap, viable gaming. I loaded up CSGO and, in practice, the performance is smooth and stable. The benchmark map gave me a 110 FPS average, so let's move to something a little more eye-catching. Fortnite is not only more visually appealing than CSGO, it's also more technically demanding. Trailers run smooth and look fantastic, so I crank the settings and see how it handles itself in real time when capturing the screen with OBS. On high, our frame rate averages in the 70s. Movement and effects look okay with a few low dips, but it's playable until we actually get into combat. Since this footage was recorded pre 1010 I don't have footage of games like Valorant or Valheim, but I'd like to keep up to date, so let me know in the comments below what games you prefer to see tested. Combat is frustrating. 
With FPS dropping as low as 3 at times, this guy sits on my head without me even seeing him. Back in the settings menu, I adjust down to medium visuals and limit the FPS to 30. At first glance, this seems to play so much better that I move the frame rate limit up to 60 and go from there. This is playable, and when I'm not running OBS, I don't drop frames in combat, so if you want to attempt streaming on this rig, more RAM is definitely going to be your friend. Otherwise, 30 FPS and no OBS in the background is a pretty decent experience. In other news, Minecraft with full fancy settings and a 12 chunk render distance consistently runs around 150 FPS, spiking well over 200. And for those of you saying Minecraft can run on a potato because it's blocky, you need to understand that the game is procedurally generated. Go watch a Hermitcraft episode and see dropped frames in the shopping district on Mumbo Jumbo's i9-10900K and RTX 39 setup and tell him that a potato could handle it. So we have a decent performing rig that can run what we want, but isn't fun to look at. So let's fix that. The simplest and most cost effective way to make a PC look modern is spray paint. So with nothing more than blue painter's tape and a few different colors, I created the Toga P C. I believe the pattern is easily recognizable without needing airbrush work or 3D features or even a face. So, I gave it a shot, and I actually love the way this turned out. In addition to the paint, I cut a window into the removable side cover and powered a strip of RGB LEDs off the extra power supply pigtail meant for an additional disk drive. This method of make a window, paint case, and add lights, which I will now refer to as mall pick call, is a solid formula for any custom build. If you'd like me to make a video showing this process in detail, let me know in the comments. I do use and appreciate your feedback. If you enjoyed the build, and you've made it this far, thanks for taking the time. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.